Before we get into the video, do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. So, because we live in an outside world and it's getting more hectic, crazier, even damn right indifferent in terms of the sheer numbers of people that's being killed, it's now been reported that two murders have taken place in London alone within two hours of each other. Let that just sink in for a moment. Over a 120 minute period, two people have lost their lives and three other people injured. Firstly, a man believed to be in his 30s had been brutally and maliciously stabbed to death on the Isles of Dogs in London just before 8.30pm yesterday, Tuesday, September 21st. So police and paramedics alike scrambled to the scene where they found a man bleeding out and sadly a victim of multiple stab wounds. Police believe the stab wounds weren't the result of a mugging but sadly a result of a fight between two groups of people. Again, people are so eager to produce weapons instead of using their fists. It's as if they are afraid to get punched or end up with a couple of bruises and knots or cuts. And because of this terror or dread, idiotic egomaniacs would rather jam a knife into a person's flesh and just end their life just like that. Essentially, these idiots are playing God. Paramedics attempted CPR at the murder scene in East Ferry Road, but unfortunately the victim could not be saved. He was pronounced dead at the scene. Now some people would believe there had been enough bloodshed on the UK streets, but a mere two hours later at 10.30pm, an unlucky man in his 20s was found with fatal gunshot injuries on Green Lanes, North London, right outside the bus stop. Again, 999 was dialed and armed police were dispatched to the scene, along with paramedics. And again, sadly, the outcome was the same. The unnamed man in his 20s, his injuries were too severe and catastrophic. He was also pronounced dead just half an hour later, just before 11pm. Now, as to the shooting, we have no idea how many people were shot in Greenslay, North London. But what we do know is, police received another call soon after to state that another person had taken themselves to the hospital where they had also suffered gunshot injuries. And a third victim, who was minding his own business and had driven past as the shooting took place, was also struck. This person was a soldier because, frankly, he drove himself back home in Edmonton before he was taken to hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. That's two murders and two attempted murders alone all in the span of 120 minutes. Yet the government have this confluted idea that crime rates have decreased. Literally, people are being murdered over social media platforms or pettiness, or for something as rudimentary as hearsay. And it shows no signs of slowing down. In fact, now more than ever, these narcissists find it way easier to kill people. It's as if they have affirmed they actually have the right. All I can say is condolences to the people that have lost their life. And so far, no arrests have been made. So this means right now there's a gunman and a gang of brutes whom have murdered people. And they are probably sitting at home, sipping a cup of tea, eating bread and butter, chuffed to bits with the destruction that they have caused. Stay safe, safe.